let's take a look at some brioche bread. Divine brioche bread here, stuffed with fruits. Let's take a look at that. Divine. Come on into Jenny's Walk and let's make some lovely brioche bread here, stuffed with dry fruits and with minced meat. Sweet or savory bread. Come on in, let's get cooking. So our four eggs is in, so now let's add that starter. You see that is already bloomed into the egg. So now for these, I'm just gonna cream that starter with the eggs on slow speed with the cake mixer. So now I want to add in my sugar. In goes the sugar. I want to add my powdered milk and I'm going to add the flour half at a time. So let's just add in. I sieve my flour so this makes it very easy. So let's mix this together. In goes the second batch of the flour and at this point my dear foodies I want to add my salt in and I'm going to get that zest of the line of the orange into my dough. This is going to give it a nice lemony flavor. This is what I like. If you don't have lemon, if you don't have this orange zest, you could always use the doTERRA orange oil. Now for these, you could change your hook and put in your dough hook or if you have your cake mixer, you change that paddle and you put in your dough hook. So now I'm going to add quarter cup of milk and I'm slowly going to bring the dough together now. So this looks marvelous. You see how lovely this come together. So now we're going to be adding our butter, our chilled butter. There you go. We're going to add slowly at a time. Foodies, this is the last of that butter and we're going to add it in now and we're going to give this a good beating for like 15 minutes or if you're using your hand you just give it a nice knead as I showed to you in my previous bread recipe. It's coming to get a very lovely enriched brioche bread here from Jenny's Walk. Okay foodies, so it has been 15 minutes on uh, using that, that dough hook and this looks lovely. So we're going to leave this together. I'm going to put some cling wrap over the bowl and put the lid on and leave it in a nice warm place and let this uh, proof or leaven or raise and get uh, like Dublin size and then we're going to take it from there. Okay foodies, so it has been 40 minutes and this is what our dough look like. So now what I want to do, I'm going to flour my surface and I'm going to take the dough out. Foodies, so what we're going to do now, I'm just going to put that flour in there and we're just going to knead, knead it in and bring it all together, get all that gluten. So it's a very much a very sticky dough, so don't, don't get depressed, that's just the way it is. So we're just going to add your flour in and you're going to knead it, knead everything in, just like so. So there is your bread, there is your dough, sorry, really nice. And you're going to grease your bowl. And let's put this back in here. And this is going, going to go into the refrigerator now. We're going to leave it for two hours. The longer it stays, it's more flavor is going to develop into this lovely brioche here from Jenny's Walk. Okay, foodies, so let's take a look. It has been two hours in the refrigerator, and there you go. So the aim of putting this into the refrigerator is so that that butter could just get together and not be soft. Now I do not have a granite countertop, so I'm gonna spray here. If you have a granite countertop, that means it's always cold or cool. So it your butter will not be melting away quickly and thus make your, your dough very hard for you to work with. So as you can see, I do not have a cold countertop. So let's get moving very quickly. So first what I want to do, I'm going to put this one back into the refrigerator to remain cold. And this is the one we're going to work with. I'm just going to cut this now into pieces. I have my four balls. Now you could make this sweet. You could make it savory. There's so many different ways that you could make your brioche bread. So I'm just... So here is my pan. I already sprayed up really nicely and I'm just going to open my, my dough bowl a little bit and you could fill anything. This, this dough now you could use sweet, savory, you could use so much ideas you could do with this. You could even make this lovely into, um, your burger bun. I love this as my burger bun. So here I have some ground meat. 
I, you could do it any meat that you have. So just fold it in, bring everybody together nicely, just like so. And you give it a good little roll. And this is a lovely sandwich here. A, a great idea for a breakfast sandwich. So let me finish all up and we'll be right back. So this one now, finish making those. I'm going to show it to you in a little bit. I'm just going to roll this one. If you want, you could add uh, dry fruits. And here I have some dry fruits. I have currants. I'm going to use some currants and I'm going to roll it into this really nicely. So they just make the size. Stretch it out to that lovely size there and sprinkle some currants. There you go. We're going to put it into our loaf pan. And if you want to sprinkle some uh, cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon could also go on to this. So lovely brochure from Jenny's Walk. Don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So let me get some cinnamon powder now and sprinkle on this. A little sprinkle just like so, not too much. Very good and this looks marvelous. So now let's roll our brioche bread. So you're just going to roll them in just like so. There you go. Push back, make it a little tight. Lovely. And now we're going to tuck the bottom of the bread. There you go. You tuck it in. Bring the sides in. It's very sticky, very much pliable. So let me put this now into my pan. There you go. And that's beautiful. Into the pan. The bottom side is in the top side is in the bottom and here you go so i'm going to leave this now in a nice warm place and let it rise again the foodies we got a beautiful rice so here i have my egg for my egg wash and i just just say this is just a yolk and one teaspoonful of water and just give it a nice little mix just like so and we're just going to give it a gentle brush on the top this is what gives it that lovely golden color our brie Brioche. <laughs> now I forgot. I got tongue twisted again. Our lovely bread here from Jenny's Walk. Our brioche bread. And this one is stuffed with meat. And the other one is stuffed with uh, dry fruits. So you could make this bread either sweet or savory. Dinner rolls, loaf, plat bread, and even that lovely challa bread. Lovely uh, recipe here. The same dough works for all. So what I want to do now to this one, see that this is savory, I'm going to add some, this is black sesame seeds. So we're just going to sprinkle it at about on the bun, just like so for a lovely garnish. Beautiful. And this is the toasted regular ones. We're going to toast that lovely and just Put that over also for lovely garnish. There you go. This looks marvelous. So let me do it a yeah. second. To give you that lovely color. So don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And you could also request any recipe that you would like me to do here at Jenny's Walk. You know, we're here to learn, share, and create. So this is the one that is stuffed with the dry fruits, the raisins, and the cinnamon. I'm just going to leave it just like so. You don't have to put any. If you want to put, you could always uh, just only sprinkle just for the name of it. <laughs> that is just about enough because I just want to eat this one sweet. So now into my oven at 350 and this will take like 25 to 30 minutes to bake. Lovely brioche here from Jenny's Walk. So let's get baking now. Our first loaf and here is our savory. This is the bun. It's now out of the oven. So I'm going to let this cool for 10 minutes and then we're going to take them out. Our lovely brioche here from Jenny's Walk. So needs a little help with your spatula on the sides. It's still very hot. And now let's see that moment to reveal. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. The house smells so beautiful. Citrusy of that lemon, of that orange peel that we put in there and that lovely scent of 
fresh baked bread. Divine scent, you know the holiday season is here. That's the smell in my house right now with this lovely bread. And that orange really, really hit the spot. I'm hungry now. So this is still very hot. I'm just going to take it out and leave it on the rack to cool because you do not want it to sweat. Look at that beautiful bottom. Very brown and nice. So let's leave it. Let it get a nice little warm up and cool down beautiful color very very soft and spongy soft to the touch as you can see we will cut into it just now okay foodies let's take a look now our lovely brioche bread this is the one with the fruit the dry fruit and this is the one here that we put that mince meat in so let's just break it out now wow look at that pillow cloudy spongy wow mm, divine really soft look at that softness in there and look at the layers look at the air pockets really beautiful divine let's see the meat in there now look at that perfect for breakfast for dinner snack time brunch time anytime lovely enriched brioche bread here from jenny's walk let me try this mm, really soft and enriched no wonder this bread is so expensive Divine dish here, my dear foodies from Jenny's Walk. Give it a try. Simple step. I'm getting that lovely tangy taste from that orange. And it melts in your mouth softness. This is a great idea. You could also do some dinner rolls or loaf bread, plat bread, the challa bread, whatever bread you want to do. You could use the same steps, the same method, the same recipe, and just explore the world of bread here from Brioche. Divine recipe here from Jenny. So there you go, foodies. Take a look at that brioche. Look at the texture. Look how soft. Look at the inside. Look at those air pockets in there. Very soft, divine bread here. And you have that lovely filling there with that dry fruits in there. And our lovely savory with that mincemeat. Lovely bread here from Jenny's Walk. Brioche, it's an enriched bread. Flavor with orange zest. So don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and family and join in into Jenny's Walk. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Brioche Bread, Jenny's Walk. Thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.